Did he cheat or did I catch an STD from a koala? My, F27, husband M28 and I have been together for five years after being friends for most of my teenage years. We have two sons, and this took place in March of 2020 when I was three months pregnant with my second child. I had gone to my 13-week scan follow-up after the ultrasound alerted something wasn't right. I fully expected the worst but my GP just said they could see something on the scans with my fallopian tubes, nothing was wrong with the baby and wanted to get bloods and swabs done. When the results came back my GP called me to come in urgently, that's when she showed me that my tests had returned positive for chlamydia. I was shocked and my GP knew I had been with my husband for years, she was my doctor all the way back when my first son was born, she knew all of our history. She straight up asked me if our relationship was monogamous and I of course said yes. She gave me the rundown of treatments and scripts, telling me that my husband would need to come be tested as well to confirm before he too would likely need treatment. All with a look of pity. She was thinking it, I was thinking it. My partner had cheated on me and given me an STD. I'm furious and heartbroken, but I go home and take a long hot shower scrubbing myself clean, then I sit down in our home, our family photo hung on the wall mocking me, and call him. He is at work and I'm crying on the phone explaining that I've just been to the doctors and gotten results that I'm positive for chlamydia, and how could you do this, you bastard all the work. I hang up and he is calling me over and over but I'm trying to calm down as I have to collect our son from daycare and still be put together as a mother somehow. I ignore his calls and go about my day utterly crushed, I'm giving our son dinner when he comes home. He comes into the house, sets his stuff down loudly and throws his keys at the wall. He sees that I've got our son so he just walks into the bedroom and slams the door and I hear the shower run. I'm confused and even more hurt because I don't know what I was expecting, but this wasn't it. I finish feeding our son and bed routine, then settle him to sleep. It's about 8 p.m. by now and I'm exhausted, but I go to the room to talk to my husband and he is sitting on the bed holding his head in his hands crying. I walk over to him and say, I don't know how you could do this to me and our family, but you've given me an STD and you also need to get tested and take this medication. He looks at me red raw, yelling that I am a sick and twisted person for cheating on him, getting an STD and then blaming him for it. Did he cheat or did I catch an STD from a koala? So my husband is upset and visibly shaking and I can't fathom what he is saying. He thinks I'm the one who has been unfaithful and I'm just furious. I have never cheated and I hate cheating. It's a disgusting act to do to someone you love. But he is adamant that he also never strayed and our argument ends with us waking up our son, so I go to settle him. When I came out he had packed a bag and was leaving. He said he was going to stay with his parents for a bit. He left, I cried all night. The next few weeks were hell, he tested positive obviously, both of us accusing each other. It got to the point that I asked if he wanted to separate, because I didn't see how this could be resolved since neither of us would own up. He said he would tell me the answer if the pregnancy I was carrying truly was his after a paternity test. We went and got the tests and of course it was his child. We went to therapy, which never really solved anything. He eventually moved back in. All of our history combined with knowing that at the end of the day I loved this man and didn't want a broken family was a big part of why I eventually decided to just accept that he cheated and wouldn't own up to it. We just moved on with life, sure, a little less sunshine and joy like. I loved him and a part of me thought him admitting it would be worse, I'd want to know names slash faces slash details and uck. As more time went by I became okay with leaving it. So it's more than two and a half years later now, and Adam is scrolling through TikTok when this reel with Robert Irwin comes on. He was talking about how the biggest threat to koala populations is chlamydia. I swear if a light bulb appeared in his head it would have shown out of his ears because I saw him start to piece things together. He now has come to the conclusion that he thinks he did give me chlamydia, but not through cheating. This is where I'm just, wowzer, at. Update Did he cheat or did I catch an STD from a koala? Okay, back in mid to late 2019, there were huge bushfires in QLD. In September, Adam and I attended the Bohemian Beat Freaks Festival, and along our drive into camp we came across so many koalas that had been displaced, the event was nearly cancelled due to fires burning near the site in the weeks prior, so these koalas were just by the side of the road, exhausted. At one point we pulled over and Adam grabbed some water for these poor guys. One little fellow was so thirsty and exhausted he was just holding onto my partner's arm as he drank. And yes, Adam picked this koala up and gave him a cuddle, and yes the koala proceeded to pee all over his shirt and arm. We laughed it off, moved him off the road track and continued on. Now being a festival in the middle of a bush, there are only showers that you pay for, we were not planning on using it to shower until the last day. He had taken off the shirt and washed his hands with bottled water. We arrived and set up camp and then went to a party and forgot about the koala completely. Over those days we had intimacy, a lot. Yeah, writing this now I realize how gross it all sounds, but that's the culture of Aussie bush doofs, and we were young parents who had a rare break from having our son. So we go down a rabbit hole of research and find out that yes, you can catch it from koalas. F me. Adam is so fast to make an appointment at our GPS office, we show up and explain everything and even she agreed with him. That yes it is possible that is where the STD could have originated from. We were completely asymptomatic so we could have had it from then and then it was only detected during my pregnancy. 
So now we have an explanation, and my husband is all for it. He says it all makes sense and I can see how he has changed since then, he is more relaxed with me, more trusting, but a part of me having thought it was from him being unfaithful has stuck. Our relationship has still been okay these last few years, but I'll admit it's been strained. Our intimacy life dwindled a lot and we both became almost toxic with each other in terms of who the other was talking to or texting, always feeling on edge when the other was out alone etc. He would randomly come out with you can tell me the truth and I'll still love you so many times that would spark an argument etc. And our friends who knew the story had ditched us long ago thinking that one of us was a cheater and the other was stupid for staying. We learned to keep this part of our lives private to avoid all the bullcrap. Since finding this out it's like my husband has changed again, he is back to the loving affectionate caring man he was before this started, he has accepted this explanation so easily. But now, how do I wrap my head around that my husband did in fact give me chlamydia, but for my effing koala? And how do we undo all the toxic crap that has been between us and move into a healthier trusting relationship? I still in some ways feel as if he cheated on me and I'm not able to completely let this go because truly, unless he says something different I'll never really know, and this seems too convenient to the whole situation to put me at ease? I just don't know. It sounds crazy, but this has been my life for nearly three years, with this new information stressing me out again these last six odd months. Final update Did he cheat or did I catch an STD from a koala? Hey all, me again, koala chlamydia girl. I'm back and most of you thought that my husband didn't cheat, and gave me a lot of advice to think through. I sat my husband down last evening, and spoke about how I'm feeling now we know the truth. I talked about how much pain I've been put through with him accusing me and vice versa, and I apologized for my part in things, told him how much I loved him and how happy I was to finally put this to rest now we both know there is nothing between us. And then, he starts fidgeting and getting upset, and he tells me that he cheated. Yep. I know. But he still didn't give me the STD he says. In the months after finding out, yes our relationship was in a really bad place. When he wasn't living at home at that time, he went out and had a one-night stand with a girl from a pub in the town over. He explained that he genuinely believed that I cheated, and after a few drinks he decided he was going to end things with me, so he went ahead with sleeping with this girl. It was his way of tit for tat. Plus he was convinced that our baby wasn't his from everything, basically he was really in a broken place. But the next day we met up and this was the day I brought up separating, and he said that instantly he had regret and felt as if things were even now, he decided he would stay if I did a paternity test and the baby was his, which he was. He thought that if I was never going to tell him I cheated he would never tell me either. He only told me now because he realized how stupid he was and wishes he could take it back but can't and now this koala knowledge has left him feeling guilty. I asked about the girl and he says he only knows her first name, hasn't had contact with her since and she means nothing. But my god this blows. Remember how I said in my post that since finding out my husband is back to his caring affection itself? Well now I know why, he was trying to make up. For his mess up. And people were mad at me for not instantly accepting that my STD could have come from a koala, but I swear there was a part of me that instinctively knew this, maybe that's why I was holding on. It all feels hollow, I feel numb, I'm sitting on a park bench right now while our sons play and I just don't know what to do now. Cheating is a deal breaker for me, and I never slept with anyone. I never considered a payback tip for tat move against him, so why did he do it to me? I'm heartbroken, and a part of me wishes we could go back to before all of this happened. I can't break up my family, we have two kids, two dogs, two cats, two cars and a house together, it would be a mess. But I don't know how to take this on now. He could have told me this six months ago when we first found out about this new possibility. But he didn't, he waited until I poured my heart out to him an apology to dump on me this confession. I can't look at him right now, and he knows it. I guess I'll take a few days to process and then decide things. But I'll probably stay. I love him so much even though this has broken a little part of me I just found again. Oh well. Life will out right? I get that a lot of people are now convinced my husband is some sick sadist, but I genuinely do not believe that to be true. I don't think he manipulated me for years, I don't think he gave me the STD or cheated before all of that crap happened, I do believe the STD came from the koala, why admit to things now if not? Before yeah he felt justified, but now he just thinks he is an idiot for doing what he did. I believe him when he says it was the only time it's ever happened. And if people think I'm a fool that's okay, I'm processing this all in my own time regardless. But the way I see it, we had a really unfortunate thing happen, and the STD planted doubt. And he effed up. But the way it came out shows me that my husband is dedicated. I'm airing all of my feelings, and this man, who has let this eat at him for years because he genuinely believed I cheated also, finally told me this truth now so that we can have a shot at going forward with nothing in between this. He has told me he won't blame me if I want to leave, he thinks I should think everything through and make my decisions regardless of everything we have together now, he knows that everything would change by telling me that, he didn't have to and the timing shows me he is genuine, because now he knows that he is the only one here in the wrong. Man, I really skipped over writing about our actual conversation when he confessed, but it wasn't manipulative at all. It was raw, and ugly, and in no way did he blame me, he only kept repeating I really thought you cheated and I'm a effing idiot and I'm so sorry. 
I am going to take the advice of a few people who have said I should take a break. I've asked him to go stay at his parents whilst I think things through and take time. And yes, I did say that cheating was a deal breaker for me, but my actions have shown otherwise, so that's something I've learned about myself, maybe that was just an ideal that a younger me that viewed the world in black and white held onto. But now I've experienced how life has much more to it and I guess now that it's not the case anymore. Another person said that the stages of grief aren't linear and it seems as if I've started at acceptance, maybe that's true too. Either way, a break, some hard conversations with a therapist and my own choice, will be the determining factor in the fate of my marriage.